Hello everyone, I am Venrith and this is Mudrana. So for those of you that do not know, Mudrana is a sort of more of like a relaxed driving game, but where things can go so horribly wrong. Um, the main aim of the game is to unlock um, the fog of war of the map by driving around. And then you have to haul a load of logs to different log kiosks. No. Logs to Lumberyard. That's it. And by doing that, you then end up completing the game. But it's it sounds a lot easier than it actually is. Now, we're going to play the first map. Because I've done quite a few maps already. As you can see, I've, I've done some of these up here. So, the first map you get to see me try my hand at is Deluge. Now, with Deluge, it's apparently a really, really tough map. And we will start a new game in Hardcore. And just on normal difficulty. And, um, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing or anything. So, on this map. So, as you can see, we start here with our truck. That's another truck there as well. We've got a garage trailer as well, which gives us some garage points you use garage points to unlock the garage as you can see it requires four points we've got zero there at the minute so we have to get the garage trailers over to the garage we also have these watch points and these watch points we have to reach by driving to them and that unlocks the fog of war and then after that we've got this lumber mill here which we need to get logs from uh, it says log kiosk here so we have to pick up logs from here and then drive it over to here. And we have to do deliver 8 to complete the map. We also have a fuel station for fuel issues. But for right now, I'm going to set some waypoints up here. So I'm going to go to the end of this road here. And we're going to try and unlock these two vehicles. Um, because I think that's probably the best idea. Uh, we've got a couple of garage trailers there. I don't know if we can actually reverse up to them and hook up. I think we might actually be able to. Um... Do I risk that or do I leave them where they are? Tell you what, let's uh, change truck. We'll change to this one that's nearest. Um, and we're going to try and hook up to one of these garage trailers and try and drive it up there. That might be a bad idea, but we'll see. So, a release parking brake. And it's called Mud Runner for a reason. Because you end up driving. There we go. I remember the controls. Uh, there we go. You have to drive all the way through the mud, and it's so easy to get stuck. Trying to get used to the controls again because it's been ages. So we can go. There you go. Touch garage trailer. There we go. That's some nice points that we can have. So you can see in the top left-hand corner, there's a little map, a little compass, not, not map, a compass, and that compass will show us to the destination, the waypoints that we set. As you can see. These garage trailers are not exactly equipped with modern wheels. <laughs> so it's going to be very difficult to do this. That's that nice camera angle, yeah. So we're going to fly along here for the minute. We'll zip along this road until we get to the watery area. Now this is where it's going to get very, very difficult. So I'm just going to stop here for a minute. I'm going to look at our map. And when you zoom in on the map, you can see over the water area, you get these like markers. And the longer, the taller these markers are, the deeper it is. So as you can see here, it's quite deep. 
Um, and now I've got to try and figure out the best way across that won't result in us messing up our engines. Um, there's probably a way across here, actually. There. That might be a way. Um, Pom is taking the garage trailer with us. It could be pretty bad for us. Um, hmm, I'm just wondering if we can get through there. It's pretty deep there, though. Hmm. Unless we go to... They are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are. If we can do that, we might be alright. Of course, we might not be alright as well. Oh, look on the tree already. You have a winch in this game to allow you to pull yourself off. You have all wheel drive and fifth lock as well, but. They end up using more fuel, especially the wheel drive. All wheel drive uses lot fuel. Now, if you manually move the gearbox, as you can see, you can manually set the gear. So I can go into first. If I put it just at like maybe two notches like that, it means that when you hit the accelerate button, you don't get as much speed out of it. And as you can see, this is where it becomes a bit of a gamble. Which can easily end up in disaster. To be honest, I probably should have left the garage trailer here. Because I don't know if I'll be able to get across from um, these vehicles up here. I don't know if we're able to get on there over to the garage or not. I might not be able to. It might be a waste of time. But uh, we'll try. So the idea is just to aim for going cutting straight through the island like that. So that's where we're going to go. So yeah, I'm trying not to use all-wheel drive unless I really have to. Because I don't want to use all my fuel up. Because obviously we haven't totally even unlocked the fuel station or figured out how to get there. So, yeah. It could easily end in disaster. Well. This game is just so relaxing. Um, a bit daunting at times. Well, a bit crazy at times. You know, you can spend ages trying to do something and then end up messing up by rolling your truck over or something right towards the end. So, yeah, it, it's very fun, though. Very fun. Now, I'm trying to figure out how to get from here. I'm thinking here maybe is the best idea. If I can go over to there. Then I might be able to go straight through to there. I think. So it's all about patience. You have to have a lot of patience and you've got to take your time. If you get stuck, sometimes it'll just wiggle itself out by just spending you know, spend a bit of time just wiggling backwards and forwards. And you might be lucky enough to get yourself out of trouble. I'm just going to try and keep where of its shallowest as much as possible. Because if you end, if you go in too deep with the engine, well, I think I'm stuck there.
and put all wheel drive on for a second. There we go. Now take it off. Yeah, if you go in too deep with your engine, it'll cut out and that'll be it. You'll have to come and rescue it with another truck. Problem is, I've only got one other spare. Yeah, from the outside, these trucks look amazing. Detail was. Am I stuck again? Might be. Oh, we'll drive on. There we go. Now, all wheel drive will get you out of some difficulties. But it won't always get you out of all the difficulties. And I'm sure I'm going to mess up something sooner or later. So, now I am at this destination. What I'm going to do is have another quick look. So obviously, we've got to get up here. Um, and I've got to look at which way is best. I'm wondering if it's better coming through here and then up and then that way because if we go this way it's all well and good until we get to about here you I might be able to navigate around that way actually maybe it's a bit deep there but if I sort of come up there and then head for that little spot there and then back that way again and straight up there that might make it, actually. Yeah. That way will get me across to that island. The problem is you've only got, you know, a certain range that you can actually see what's going on. Um. And you can't zoom in any more than this either, so it's... It's one of those... gambly things it'll be like that i think i might be able to do that maybe yes so it's all about taking your time and trying to think about the best, best way of doing things now what's the best way of getting through here There's a lot of trees to get stuck on Let's just keep going through the What I might be able to do is use the winch to pull us through. So, if I press Y, you can see you've got plenty of different winch attachment points. So you can attach it to the front there, and then attach it to, say, that tree over there. And then, when I press Y, it pulls us. I can turn off all wheel drive, save myself some fuel, and let the winch do the job for us. you can see. So, uh, winch release. I might get stuck here. Yeah, just push that tray, it's fine. 
let's attach the winch to that tree. Now, by playing the hardcore mode, which I am doing now, you can play a standard mode, but the hardcore mode, you kind of have to... You can't recall your vehicles back to a basic starting point. So, I'd say, if you get, if I get stuck in here with this, or this rolls over, or something like that, that's it. I've got to get another truck and pull it out. It ain't coming out any other way. So there's no reset in the vehicles. And, like I say, everything's all left and all the driver. Ooh. Okay, that's a bit dangerous. Um, reverse, reverse, reverse. Okay, I'm taking damage from the engine now. So as you can see, uh, I've run into a bit of difficulty already. No, it looks shallowish there, doesn't it? Because it looks like there's a bit of a outcrop. Oh dear, water damage, water damage. Um, winch. Let's attach the winch to the tree at the back there. Whoa. So, oh, you some Nasty. Oh my word, this was bad. Um Yeah. Nope. Oh. Oh. No, this ain't going to work, is it? I thought I could get through here. Not see how. Made it a bit further. Maybe if we go to the right a little bit. I mean, yeah, I like oh jeez. Oh jeez. There we go. Oh. Now you can see how, how stressful it can get. Um, trying to navigate this way. Trying to navigate through water is just terrible. The other maps are a lot easier to this. I don't have so much water. So what I want to do is probably keep going up here and along to here. Plug in the uh, coastline bit here. Because the water actually push, pushes you as, as you're going along. So, yeah, it can get very difficult. And I've had some nasty accidents on some of the other maps. Try 
trying to um, conserve a bit of fuel now if we can. Yeah, there's loads of different um, games, uh, games, vehicles for you to play about in, in, in this game. It's not just the one, it's quite a few. And you even have to load the logs yourself using a crane, which can be entertaining sometimes. And of course, the more you wheel spin and stuff, you, you're going to create more ruts in the ground, so you're going to get stuck more often. So, I think this is careful. Tell you what, I'm even half tempted to. Uh, drop this trailer off in a minute. Uh oh. Stop. I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. There we go. We went from 20 cent. Uh, try it. I think what you've got under here is some... Uh, what we call spikes. And what it is, is cut down or broken down trees. And it leaves like the stump sticking up. And it is so easy to get wedged on one of those. So yeah, I'm guessing there. I'm thinking about leaving it here, you see. And then just driving up with just the truck to unlock those two. And that way, I can then decide what to do and come pick it up before driving across. Um, I might even use one of those to drive across. And cover up the watch point. And it's getting done. There is a day and night cycle on this. There's no weather effect. indication as to how much fuel we've got left. So yeah, I'm thinking just detach the trailer here. Maybe. Might be safer than trying to drag it all the way through there. So let me detach the trailer. And this is going to make this truck feel so much lighter. And I can now go and work my way around and do what these two vehicles. Oh, don't roll over, don't roll over. Um, let me have a quick look at here. Um, I think I was supposed to go more to the left there actually. Um,
tree there, just on this catch me out. So to unlock the vehicles, all you have to do is drive near to them, and they shall unlock. And there's one. You see, you just drive into that circle. That's all in yours. So we've unlocked the B66 now, and we're about to unlock the K700. K700 is a beast that will drive through the water. It's a lot less difficult to eat than this. So, yeah, you can like stop engine, you can decide, oh, I know, let's uh, change truck and then this is the K700. And oops, forward. So, the parking brake off, that might help. Yeah, so this is a nice piece. Um, but you generally use this for picking up logs. Well, in fact, we might need to actually just um, operate the loader and pick that up. So let's pick that up. There we go, that's out of the way now. Okay, if I choose this one, and this is what this one is, and, ooh, got a fair bit of damage, but it does look like it's got a garage utility tent, which is a, like, a repair thing, or is it fuel, yeah, I've got repair, I've got those two which are repair, and that one which is fuel, so I can actually refuel some of the other trucks if I want to. What was this on? Yeah, that's not too bad as well. Okay. So, I've unlocked those two trucks. So, next mission to do is probably head over this way. And try to unlock the garage. Because the garage allows you to not only repair your vehicles, but it allows you to change the loadout. So, you can change it from, you know, having the crane on to having a log loader on to having fuel system on or whatever you like. But yeah, the difficulty is now getting from there over to there, because this whole bit is flooded. And I don't know how I'm going to get there yet. It looks a bit dodgy, maybe across here. But anyway, we shall do that next time. So thanks for watching everyone, and I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.